Wang, and the company which hosts for this presentation is Starbucks. And my name is Lisa, and this is Chen Zi and Bush. So Starbucks is currently the largest coffee house chain and also the third largest fast food restaurant chain in the world. The, co the company generates its revenues mainly to the sales of its ex exceptional products that you can see from the revenue distri distribution chart I reserved here. So their products include coffee, handcrafted beverages such as frappuccino, fresh food include bakery and pastry, consumer products with registered trademarks like coffee and tea, and we are to drink our tea. They also sell merchandise that include coffee and tea, green equipment, mugs, and other accessories. So the company has a variety of distribution channels, but it mainly sells from the company's own stores and licensed stores inserted in supermarkets such as uh, Price Chopper and Target, and other large shopping malls. They also have like, uh, they also supply in offices, uh, hotels, and multiple airlines. Um, as an international company, Starbucks has opened its market in multiple regions such as the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Asia. And they also locate their stores in urban areas where you can find a large number of population. <coughs> Starbucks targets its consumer mainly, uh, mainly are women and men aged between 25 and 40. And most of them are already employees and students. Now I'm going to let Chen introduce the value proposition of Starbucks and also the key operational risks. Thank you. And the Starbucks value conversation is composed of three components. The first one is the quality of products. The Starbucks wants to provide the highest quality coffee in the world. And the second one is the service. The Starbucks hopes to participate with clients, so it provides intimacy service to these clients. And the third one is the atmosphere. When you enter into a Starbucks store, you will often see people work or talk there because Starbucks wants to create an atmosphere to provide a sense of community for its customers. And next, we will introduce the 10 key risks our group identified for Starbucks. And the first one is the processing disasters. Just as Ethan mentioned before, Starbucks provide lots of beverage and food, so we push safety stand out in the high priorities during its operations because buildings of food illness and contaminations will damage to Starbucks reputation and even worse make Starbucks into a litigation issue. And the second one is the technology. The Starbucks IT system contains lots of confidential data of its customers, of its employees. So the data breach caused by the cyber attack will cause the damage to brand image, and even worse, make some losses for the financial position. And last one is the human resource. Starbucks' future success depends largely on its capabilities of its, uh, of its employees, and the talent of blows will increase the operational cost and reduce the efficiency of Starbucks. And next, let's welcome Bo Shen to introduce other risks. Thanks, so, we all know as an American coffee company, and Starbucks has its strategic risk and financial risk. So, uh, the, for the strategic risk, the first we consider is competition. Starbucks it, it is actually facing intense competition because the growth of the well established company like Costa in Europe and new entrants like we got Luckin Coffee in China, their, their growth rate is pretty fast. So the performance of those companies can directly impact the performance of Starbucks. The second we consider is international. Starbucks has expanded its business to the global market, which can increase the complexity of its operation. And which means it's also highly reliant on the growth of the international market. And any economic downturns or the collapse in foreign country can reduce Starbucks revenue. And the next one is strategy. Starbucks is always trying to build a leading chief position in its industry. And uh, the method it uses is open more stores and reduce general cost. But we cannot ignore that Starbucks may not match its expectation or manage its growth rate pretty good. Because it may face like pay, make more payment on the labor costs or the additional taxes published by the government. And next, for the last two of the strategic risks, the first is supplier risk. 
Starbucks demands high quality coffee bean from its current sub supplier. And any interruption of the supply chain, like disaster on their supplier, can affect the quantity, quality and the quantity of the coffee bean, which directly leads to the reduction of the quality of Starbucks products, no matter the dairy milk or the coffee. And the last one is regulatory. It is still possible there is a change in laws or regulations. And there is also many conflict between the domestic laws or the foreign laws. And all the changes in the laws or regulations can make a Starbucks to pay more <coughs> and increase its cost. And for the financial risk, the first one we think is market. Starbucks, Starbucks failed to meet its market expectation. And uh, for the operating margins, it reaches 15.7% in last year. And for the net revenue, it increased by 10% to 24.7 billion last year. But it is still below the expectations. And all of those financial data can increase its volatility on its financial performance. And the last one for the economics. So Starbucks focused on the customer. It needs customers to buy their product, no matter the coffee or the cup or anything else. So any changes in the society, no matter the unemployment, uh, increase uh, in the taxes, or in, 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 increase on interest rate, reduce on salary, can affect the purchasing power of customers. And it can also lead to the reduction on their net sales and revenue. And this is our uh, reference, and uh, the above risk is what we consider Starbucks currently have. And this is our presentation. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.